if you don't mind me mentioning Graham, um, came up and he was asking me about why he, he wasn't feeling God, right? Feeling God's love entering, in, entering him, even though he believes that God exists and so forth. And I described it as like this. Most of us have these holes within us, right? These holes, let's call them a hole full of pain, right? And what we have is we want the pain to go away. So we choose all sorts of methods for the pain to go away. And one of the methods is we project out to other people, please make my pain go away. And they then give us a feeling that makes our pain go away. Now that's called an addiction. Does that make sense? And you know what most of us expect from God? We expect God meets our addictions. So in other words, what we want in a relationship with God is when we're longing for God's love, we're not really longing for God's love most of the time. What we're longing for is for God to make our pain go away. Is that not true? You think of how many times you've actually prayed to God in your life. Most of the time, isn't it when you're longing for God to make your pain go away? Right? Now, the beautiful thing about God is that God never feeds your addictions. So, this is the main reason why other people will come along, by the way, and feed them, but God will not. What God wants is for you to get to that pain... And get rid of it. So when you have faith and you really long for God's love, God's love starts entering you and then the pain is exposed, not covered over. It's exposed. Now many of you, when you start having your pain exposed, what do you do? You try to cover it back over. Right? And that shuts down the entire process. Right? And because you do not have any faith that the pain can be released, you want God to make the pain go away. In other words, you want God to enter an addiction with you. And God's going, no, no, no. I'm not entering any addictions with you. I would like you to let go of this pain that's like your big black hole so that it's no longer there anymore, and trust that when you do this, I'll be with you, helping you through this process with you. Right? But most of us don't want to do that. So what we do is we finish up doing this, putting the, we, we start having the pain exposed, and we want the layer back. So we try to get the layer back. When we get the layer back, we pro close down the process. When we close down the process, we're no longer experiencing divine love. Experiment with that. Experiment next time. Next time, instead of going, God, I want you to get rid of my pain, instead of doing that, go like this. God, I want, to help, want you to help me feel my pain. And see how much love you receive during that process in comparison with the processes that you've already been having. Do the experiment. Right? All we need to do is do the experiment. If we do the experiments, you will find that the way God does everything is with pure intention. So, so what happens then is if I have this feeling of wanting God's love, which is prayer, and I do not receive it, I know there's something in me blocking it. right? And I know that it's got to be something about my pain because that's where I always try to put a cover over. I know that for sure. And so what I would like to do with you now is talk about some of these things that we need to have faith in if we're truly going to engage this relationship with God. So now I'm not talking about the faith that we can have generally about physical things, generally about laws, you know, physical laws. Now I'm starting to talk about the, the real big law, the universal law of divine love and how you can go through the experiment by having some faith, faith in some basic things about that law. Does that make sense?